Previously, we built a light panel with dozens of LED of two different types, with warm white and the cool white LEDs. If you haven't watched that video, then I will highly recommend watching that video first. And in this video, we will finish this project by adding dimming functionality and building the case for it. So sit back and relax and let's finish this project. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. They are known for high quality PCB prototype manufacturing. You can order 2 to 6 layer PCB from their website. To see production in progress, you just have to click one button. And build time is only 24 hours for 2 layer PCB. Check them out, link is in the video description. Let's start by building a case for the light panel. For which I use Fusion 360 software and design these 4 pieces which will hold the PCB. After exporting the STL file, I 3D printed them. Later using some super glue, I fixed them in its position as shown over here. Once that was done, I used this acrylic sheet whose thickness was 4 mm and place the LED panel on top of it, aligning its corners. Then using a marker, I marked its breadth, so we have a reference point. Now I marked 1.5 inch and 3 inch using the reference point we marked earlier. Now mark two lines using 1.5 inch and 3 inch as a reference. Once that was done, I placed the light panel on those lines and luckily I had about 9 mm extra and we needed 8 mm to compensate for the extra thickness sides will add up once we glue them. And if you are totally confused by now then just go to my instructable article where I have uploaded the plans for this project. Just follow those, link to which is in the video description. Anyways, once I had marked all the lines, I used a box cutter and started to scratch the acrylic sheet until the grooves were about 1 mm deep. Now you can just use some force to easily snap off the acrylic along those lines. Make sure to use clamps, I don't have them at the moment so I just used some microwave transformers from a previous project. Once that was done, I took the bottom piece, marked its center and drilled 3 8 inch hole. Now we can attach this 3 8 inch to quarter inch adapter which we will use later on to mount it on a tripod. Now just remove all the protective film which is attached to the acrylic sheet. Once that was over, just use some super glue and attach the bottom piece and the two side pieces. And hopefully don't mess up like me. Before attaching the back panel, I drilled 3 holes in it, 2 for the potentiometers and 1 for the XT60 plug, which we will use later on to power it. 
and since XT60 plug has an odd shape, I had to use my files to get it to the right shape. Then I used some super glue once again to attach it. After which I mounted the 100 kilo ohm potentiometers as shown over here. Now it's time to build the dimming circuit, for which I used IC555 timer along with a MOSFET and few capacitors and a diode. If you recall this circuit, it's the same circuit I have mentioned in my previous video. If you want to learn more, check out that video. Anyways, once I had the circuit, I converted it to the PCB and ordered mine from jlcpcb.com, who are also the sponsor of this video. Then I placed all the components as per the schematic and soldered them. For the MOSFETs though, I had to use heat sinks because these guys get pretty hot sometimes. Now it's just a matter of connecting all the parts like potentiometer, timer and the MOSFET together using some wires as per the schematic. Once that madness of soldering was over, I used some super glue and attached the back panel to the main frame. And this project was complete. Just add an hot shoe mount to the bottom and mount it on a tripod, plug in your 12V power supply and there you go. Additionally, you can also add a 2mm thick acrylic sheet to use it as a diffuser. And that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe for more awesome content like this. And I will see you guys in the next one.